Hello, today we're going to clone computers across the local area network. Here's how we get started. We'll boot this machine with a BART PECD, create a clone of the hard drive, send the resulting image file to a shared folder on the network. Then we can boot up these other machines and create clones by using that image file to overwrite the hard drive. That creates perfect clones of the original computer. You can use this technique to clone multiple machines. All of the clones will be exact duplicates of this original. Step one, I need to create a shared folder on a machine that's available on the local area network. I have a machine here with a hard drive with about 100 gigabytes of space. and uh, You will need plenty of space to store cloned images. I'll create a shared folder and I will call it images there and I'm going to share this and set permissions so that we are able to write to that folder. There's the permissions button and right now the permissions only allow reading the folder. We need to be able to write to it. I'll set those permissions and then just click OK. And there's one more OK. Now I'll check to see if I can see that folder. I'll get on another machine and I'm going to check the network see if I can find the folder. There's my domain. Here's the machine it's on called lab-01. There's the shared folder and there's nothing inside of it. I'm going to check to see if we can write to it by dragging a picture over here there the picture is in there so I know we can write to that folder in step two we're gonna send the disk image to the shared folder You've got to insert your BART PECD now and we're gonna restart the computer and boot it up to the BART PECD you gotta get into the BIOS to get your boot menu set to start from the CD here mine is set at floppy I'll switch it to CD-ROM and then we'll be ready to boot the CD up. When the BART PE CD boots up it asks if we want to start network support. If for some reason you don't get that menu you can find it at Go, System, Network and then PE Network Configurator and that'll take you to the menu to start the network support. And we'll say yes and here I'm gonna accept the DHCP setting say OK now it's installing my network adapter uh, installing the components and the NetBIOS helper and we've got a connection to the network if for any reason you need to change the settings manually you can do that here where it says IP addresses you can change that and set your own IP address and then down here you can configure your DNS and your WINS server if need be and then at the bottom we've got network identification it gives the computer a name and assigns it the work group I can leave that at the default and now we'll map a network drive to that shared folder that we set up earlier uh, it's drive G it asks you for a network path, a username and password and then there's a map drive button and uh, we'll go ahead and fill in the network path and the information quickly here. Uh, when you map the drive it'll tell you if you've succeeded down at the bottom it says I've mapped drive G to lab-01 and the images folder. So we're good to go there and we'll exit that menu. Now we're ready to start imaging the disk and send it as a file to the shared folder. We start with go, programs, and self-image disk imager and that'll start us going. Our first choice is to set the input which will be a drive and I'm gonna choose my C partition which is my operating system of this drive and as a destination the output will be as a file to that shared folder I made on lab-01 and I'll name it it's a Dell Optiplex 620 
and I will save and I'll just double check the input is the hard drive partition C and the output is a file to the shared folder and we'll start. The file transfer speed will be somewhat dependent on network conditions and whether you chose to compress the file as it goes across to the shared folder. I didn't choose to compress it and I'm getting about 9, 10, 11, 12 megabytes a second. I'm expecting this 20 gig drive to go across in about 12 to 15 minutes. Alright, the transfer is finished and I didn't compress the image so I'm looking for about a 20 gig file in the output location folder. I'm going to go check right now and see if it's there. There it is, my Dell Optiplex image on images on Lab01, Lab01. And it's about a 20 gig file, so we've been successful transferring the image. Third and final step, we'll create some clones from that disk image we put on that shared folder. We need to insert our BART PECD on the machine we plan to clone. And we'll restart that computer and boot to the BART PECD. If we need to get into the BIOS, we'll do that and check that the machine is going to start from the CD. When BART starts, you'll select yes to start network support. Start the disk imaging program. And the big difference here is that the input is now the file that's on the shared folder. The Dell Optiplex 620 image I have here. And the output is now a drive or you could select a partition. I'm going to overwrite partition C and restore the operating system. You press start and it will begin pulling the image across the network onto this hard drive creating a perfect clone of our original computer. And that concludes our how to clone across the network video.